Welcome to another episode of It's Just Alex P. And on this episode, we're going to do a weekly recap of how I did last week in the stock market. Well, it's probably going to be how I did the last two weeks because I didn't do one of these last week. So, how I did the past two weeks in the stock market. Remember, my goal is to hit by AK per month. Uh, I want to work my work my way there in 2021, where I, where I can average that per month. And then after I get there for a few months, then I'm about to make some decisions, right? But before we jump into the weekly recap, all right, let's look at the last stock I uh, did a stock analysis on was First Horizon. Uh, it's a regional bank. Uh, you should check the clip out, check it out, and see what I think about it. Uh, but it was on, guess what? Mad Money yesterday. And uh, of course, on the 22nd, guess what got released for them? Earnings, and they came through beaten estimates. Uh, estimated 33 cents per share. They came in at 46 cents per share. That's a 39, that's a 39% beat, right? That's huge, 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 all right? They came in with revenues uh, of 800, 810 million. And like for the future, they're really looking into like getting into oil and gas. And they, they think it's gonna still play a pivotal part in the uh, rest of the, uh, in, in for the next couple of years before all these EVs take over. Uh, but they're also, also really interested in different technology. So they're kind of hedging their bets, right? So that's what they're gonna do when it comes to like, when it comes to the bank's investments coming up. And, uh, and big time as well is that they took over a bank, uh, Iberia Bank, and now they're taking a lot of their, some of the stuff they learned from them, they're gonna move it through their uh, 5,500, all 500 locations they're gonna roll them out to in 12 states. Uh, so, it's, so it's gonna be some new technology that rolling out to the banks to make them better for people, better customer service, what people need, right? But here's, so here's the kicker, guess what, guess what? Kramer said First Horizon is his favorite regional bank. Boom, you know, you put some stamp on it, put some stamp on it from the man Kramer, and what, it might it might take off, it might take off. So I already got in, you know, cause I'm looking at the dividends play as well and all that, I'm already in. All right, so let's talk about how I did the last two weeks in the stock market. So remember my goal is to get to eight, to average about 8K per month or get there throughout 2021, teach myself some new steps. Like I said, I've been in the market for a while as far as investing, but I do long-term. I wanna be able to now like, trade in a sense and live that way while I keep my investments rolling. That makes sense, I'm not pulling it out, so I wanna make my money and be able to live off this thing. Yes, it's gonna be a heavy lift to get there, but we got this, right? We got it. All right, so let's see how I did last week. Boom, boom, boom. Last week I did, well, the previous week, because I, I think I missed a week before, right? Previous week I did uh, 11, one, I mean $1,160.01. That was realized gains, realized like I took money, uh, like if I was putting it out. Uh, and then uh, last week I did $1,000 and $1,003.34. The next part, you know, on the weekly recap is that we wanna talk about the three things I learned or I need to fix. And uh, actually before we jump into that, let's talk about some of my wins from last week. So wins from last week included all right, I jumped in on GME too, but that was like a FOMO thing, and I don't know if it was a good win. It was a win, but you know, like it could it could have it could have crashed and burned for me because I have no idea I wasn't even looking at it. Uh, so let me grab some of the wins right now. Boom, 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 boom. Or the wins the last two weeks, I guess that's what it'd be. Boom, boom. So of course I got the uh, I, I jumped on one of the specs. Churchill Capital, uh, CCIV, and that's because the speculation that they're gonna be, of course, jumping with Lucid Air, but you know, that's just a speculative, and I knew it was gonna roll. I saw it, saw it on the charts, so I rolled up a little bit, I took some profit, and I exited my trade, all right? We don't wanna stay around for too long because things be going crazy in the market, but you know, as long as you, have, as long as you set your mark of what you wanna gain and how you wanna do it, and get there, all right? Other couple of things, I got KB Homes. Uh, then I made some money off of Nano Dimensions with NNDM. Uh, what else? Uh, Upwork, I made a little bit of dough off of. Uh, Workhorse, XL Fleet, one of my favorite stocks, XL Fleet. I think I'm gonna do analysis on XL Fleet. This one's the real deal. They got real contracts. They got real money coming in 
they, they, you know what I mean? They got, they got real money coming in, and 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 they they've been doing this for a while with a lot of companies. So we need to look at. I'm gonna do a stock analysis on XL Fleet. This stock should be rolling. And yesterday got an upgrade to at least thirty dollars per share. And I'm in, man. I'm in. But we'll move on from there. And of course, I grabbed some Nia Raya blockchain. Of course, came back for a little bit because of Bitcoin. What happened last week with Bitcoin? So boom. That's what we're. That's how we did last week. Those are some of the plays that I jumped in. Uh, but this week, uh, and I started last week as well, I started a portfolio of some uh, some speculative plays, some Biden plays, uh, what I expect to, to, to roll roll forward. So I'm gonna actually start two portfolios. Uh, the one I'm, I started last week, I have a couple of things in there. And I'm gonna talk about those portfolios and how they're doing as well, because I'm not gonna be taking profit from those. I'm just gonna see how they roll. You know, reach a point, reach a decent point before I make any kind of decisions. This is long term, so, so yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at. Uh, but so, of course, like every week, right? I learn three lessons, and uh, learn I learn something, and I and I, and I and I put new things into play, and I, and I, I hold myself accordingly. So this week, on the three things I learned, or gained, or whatever, on the three things I learned is uh, I still got some FOMO in me. Uh, I saw G, I saw uh, GME taking off, and I've been seeing, I've been seeing the hype. You know, I knew something was gonna happen. I know the, the, the Reddit army probably can push some stocks yeah, up. So and I, I jumped on, so I had some FOMO, and I jumped on it going up, and I made good money off of it. But it was strictly too FOMO. I didn't even know why it was going up so much. You know, until I got it, I was like, oh man, you gotta do your due diligence. So FOMO got me, got me last week, and it got me for what did it get mails for? Uh, Palantir. All right, I saw it rolling and I tried to jump in as well. So, you know, yeah, FOMO. Yeah, you can't be doing that, you know what I mean? Uh, next one, make sure I'm managing my managing my risk a little bit better. Make sure there's still some unrealized gains in my account. I think they total up to like 500, 600, so the 3,200 I've made, once if I realize those, and hopefully I made some good plays, that I don't have to realize those and they'll go back up because I do manage my actual account size and how much I'm investing. But if I realize those, man, my, my money's gonna go down and I, I can't be doing that. So I gotta do a better job on things like that. Gotta manage my risk a little bit better. And then the next part, the final one, I gotta trust myself. There's a couple of times like on Wednesday and Thursday that I saw big gains on stuff and I was like, take the gain now, it's gonna stop out and I know where exactly we're going. I know how the market's well, at least for those, I knew exactly what was going to happen and I didn't take the gains and of course, woke up, boom, gone. So I got to stick to my stick to my uh, plan, stick to my plan and follow myself. Go ahead, let's talk about what we're going to do next week. That's back and this is forward. So into the future, into the future. <laughs> All right, so there's going to be a lot of earning plays, earning plays next week. Uh, we got Apple on the 27th and I heard Apple is supposed to be burning it up burning it up uh, we got Tesla next week as well so we're gonna see how that goes uh, then we got AMD Facebook Microsoft Johnson & Johnson General Electric so there's a lot that's gonna be going on next week I saw some thing that this, this is the most amount of trades that's trading per day like 14 billion or something like that so the market is hot right now so Let's see, man. People are getting invested. You know, this is good. People should be invested. We should all try to get a piece of it. You know, you know, all of us. You know, those hedge funds been controlling it. The money is all. The money is all in all these people's hands. You know, maybe we can take a little bit too. Maybe we can take a little bit off the top. So next week, that's what I'm gonna be looking at. A couple of those. We got Apple. We got Tesla. We got AMD. We got Facebook, Microsoft, and Johnson & Johnson next week. But not on the earning plays, I'm gonna be really out there as well, as well watching out for uh, BlackBerry. It's blowing up right now on the Reddits. And uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on XL Fleet, which is one of my favorite uh, EV companies out there, EV technology companies out there. And uh, I like Dana Incorporated as well, but uh, XL Fleet, they just got the upgrade. So that's what I'm looking at to see if it moves. I've been holding it a little bit. It's actually one of the only stocks that I actually have in my long term, and uh, have in my long term, and have it in my uh, that I actually trade back and forth with as well. So, boom, uh, and that's it, man. Thanks for no thanks for watching another episode of It's Just Alex P. And on this episode, we talked about what I did last week in the stock market.
Boom.